This is Naiva Mirchi. I'm Mirchi. Jimmy World Cancer Day just happened. I'm in conversation with Dr. Shabir. He's from Manipal Hospital. He's the head of oncology and robotic surgery. And now, in a bit, he's going to put me on the hot seat. Jim, 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 Jimmy, Dad, Jimmy. We also have to talk about certain vaccines. So this is a very important uh, aspect of cancer. Uh-huh. So we know that today there are certain viruses which can lead to cancer. Okay. Okay. So the three viruses are one is the human papilloma virus, uh-huh. which is a causative factor for cancers of the cervix in females. Okay. And oropharynx, that is the uh, posterior back of the oral cavity, hmm. that is the throat, what you call right. in both men and women. And then you have this hepatitis B virus, which is uh, you know one of the causative factors for uh, liver cancer. Okay. Now, among these, we have vaccines for hepatitis uh, B and the human papilloma virus. Oh, okay. Okay, so administering these uh, vaccines at an appropriate time is definitely going to reduce the risk of, uh, you know, cancers of the cervix and that of the liver too. Got it. And this is, uh, you know, a very heartening thing to know that uh, in the budget which was presented uh, yeah, yeah. recently. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our Honorable Finance Minister, uh, Mr. Nirmala Sitaraman, has, uh, you know, made free the cervical vaccine for females between the ages of 9 to 14. Yes, yes. So the effect of this is going to be seen many decades later. True. So I think this is a good starting point to reduce, uh, you know, uh, cancers of the cervix. Nice. Okay. Now, uh what we we'll, what we'll do is we'll do a role reversal where you say, okay, Jimmy, I'm going to test your knowledge and you ask me a few questions and let's see how I fare in this test of yours about cancer. So whenever you're ready, ask me the first question and move on to two, three, four, five. Okay. Jimmy, do you, do you regularly exercise? More or less, yes. Uh, there are there are periods where I become really lazy and don't do anything for a few months, and then when I get back again, then I'm regular for a while. So it's 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 a little bit up and down. So that is known as intermittent exercising. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you have, uh, intermittent fasting. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Intermittent exercising. That's true. So do you know what are the warning signs of cancer, Jimmy? I would imagine it would start with uh, you are losing your sense of appetite, I would imagine. Is that correct? That is one of them. That I don't know any of the others. I mean, the, other, the other very common things which uh, you know people seek, uh, they have and they don't seek attention, uh-huh. medical attention. So one is if you have an unintentional weight loss of more than 10% of your body weight over a, over a few months. Right. Okay. You have recurrent episodes of fever huh. and most of the tests which have been done, the common tests do not reveal any uh, diagnosis. Right. Got it. Right. Backache which is persisting for several weeks. Okay. Blood in the motions. Right. Right. Change in the, uh, change in bowel habits. Huh. Right. Persistent cough with or without breathlessness or blood in the sputum. Right which persists for more than two weeks. Got it. Right? In women, a lump in the breast. Yes. Discharge from the nipple. Right. And bleeding from the vagina after menopause. Okay. Right? Then, an ulcer in the mouth or skin which does not heal in spite of seeking medical attention. Okay. You have unusual swellings in the neck, armpit areas or in the groin areas. Right. So these are the warning signs of cancer. Okay, that's a long list. Or you have a mole in the body, huh? you know, which suddenly starts increasing in size, oh. it ulcerates or it starts bleeding. Right, right. Then you must immediately seek medical attention. Okay, got it. Okay? Got it. That's a nice yeah. exhaustive list. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was lovely talking to you. I mean, uh, we've, I, I think some very basic things have been answered for people to look out for. So thank you for that, Doc. Uh, and thank you for the work that you do. God bless. Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah. Nice uh, interacting with you. Thank you, Doc. Take care. Bye. Bye.